I got a story of, uh, of this girl that we went uh, bungee jumping with. Um, five mile hike up to the bridge with bungee jumping. And this girl's just, you know, it's all talk, man. You can't shut her up, man. Attractive, I kind of thought she was real cute, and so I put up with the talk and everything else. But, <laughs> um, you know what I'm talking about. You guys, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. So we're walking up there, and she's just like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a gainer off of it. All this, you know, bigger balls than I have, I feel like, you know? And I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking, man, this girl is rocking, man. All right, that's be cool. We get up there, man. Talk, talk, talk. We get to the bridge, and over when you look over the bridge, big ass rock down there in the river, man. Just saying, what's up? How you doing? It's about 200 feet drop. And so she comes over to the edge of the bridge, and she's like, yeah. And she, all of a sudden, in self paralysis, all of a sudden, the fear, the reality, of what's happening. She doesn't have control and everything else. And you can see her start to shake, man. And she starts to like hold on to the rail, and she comes down to her knees, man. And she starts to skirt back, and now she's, this tough bitch is in a fetal position, and you can't even talk right now. I go, hey, hey, well, what's up with all the big balls on the way up? What's going on now? She's like, uh, uh, I'm good, I'm good. Trying to back out, trying to back out, trying to back out, right? Fear has just presented itself to her. She doesn't know what to do. She wants out. She wants out right now. Um, so I, I jumped a few times, kind of like, show's all good, you know? And uh, her time to jump. Man, it was like it was like it was like it was like pulling dead weight, man. Um, we finally got her suited up, and she she stepped over the bridge and stuff. And oh, when you have a bridge about a half piece of metal, half inch piece of metal, separating you and the drop, and it's it's real at that point, man. It's really real. Um, and it's your body saying, nope, don't do this. But what's going to push you? This is that hesitation as a, as a football player. Are you going to go and take the hits, or are you going to get hit? Because if you don't launch off that, there is a huge risk of you hurting yourself by hitting your chin on the board or anything else. You've got to clear yourself from that. But if you're hesitant, you, uh, uh, so hesitation can cause your worst fears to become your reality. Or if you live in the moment and you believe in your ability, that untrained ability that you train over and over again with no one watching, mastering, and hopefully the opportunity to explode it, then you can take a situation like this with confidence and actually find reward from it. So she's full of fear right now. I mean, she's shaking, and the instructors are trying to talk her up and everything. And uh, she's like, all right, you know, we're going to count down to five. Gets everybody around. And five, four, three, two, one, go. And she just, fuck no, man. She's just holding on to this one with your life like it's grandma. She ain't going nowhere. And I'm sitting over here on the other side of the bridge. I'm like, oh, yeah, huh. You know, as cute as she was on the way up, man, disgusting in my eyes now. <laughs> Why? Because confidence, I think, is the greatest. It's the, it's the most aphrodisiac acid someone to have confidence. You know, you have someone walking through with confidence, you have that aura about them, not cocky, just, just confident, you know? You know, it's, it's sexy, man. It's sexy. Um, and she didn't have any more. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh, man, really? Well, what a buzzkill, you know? And um, so the instructors try and can't do it. So they go, all right, so she's, she's coming over, she's coming over the rail and stuff. And I'm like, I'm sitting here, I'm like, fuck that, man. I come running around the side, and I go, whoo! <laughs> Deck the bitch right off the <laughs> She goes back, and like, you know, my skin crawls thinking about it, man. I don't think I ever heard this before. So Fucking Satan literally came out. <laughs> it was like it was like this sound that I was like, I mean, it, it was so scary. It made me think, ooh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> if Warner Brothers needed like some some background music for the next horror flick, Black Screen just put this noise up there and people come and see this. Flick. Um, so she comes down, boom. She says hello to the rock, doesn't hit it. Comes back up. You guys know Newton's third law, right? Energy's never lost but transferred, right? That's just what's happened. She killed that fear, you know? So that fear, that energy, that negative, was dead. Energy, where's it go? Comes back in confidence. She came back up like someone just gave her first newborn baby, you know? Like a kid on Christmas, like kissed for the first time, just got engaged to, just, just, wow, loving <laughs> life. Jumped like three more times. You think she talked a lot on the way up? Fuck. <laughs> Shut her up. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't push you up. Well, let's really look at what happened there. What really happened there, fear presented itself, right? And what did she do? With some help. Faced it, right? She left that moment stronger for it. If she succumbed to it, like me going to West Point on Naval Academy, I went to Naval Academy knowing the fear existed and didn't confront it, then the fear would start to grow and grow and take over my confidence. And then I would be a prisoner of that fear. But I destroyed it. And right behind that fear that I created was the person I wanted to be. If she did not do it at that point, 
then that feeling, that negative thing, would be inside of her moving into the next objective, the next task of life. And the next task of life maybe is a challenge. And maybe in that challenge, she doesn't tell anybody. She's not all big balls in the way. She's a little quiet because she doesn't have a one step to repeat herself. Or maybe even worse yet, I don't, I'm not even going to do it. So then all of a sudden, she's not living her dreams. She's living a path that's opposite of fear and going in whatever direction that is, unbeknown to her, losing control. So it's really imperative going forward in business and everything else. You have those same jumps you have to make, those leaps of faith. But they aren't leaps of faith. They're back loaded with work, training, education, becoming a student in the system, understanding it all. So you mitigate as much risk as possible. And then you go for it. Everything's a risk in life. You know, but if you're back loaded with passion and love, you believe it, you can't fail that. 